And by the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. And by the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. And by the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. This is all about cloud. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? What's going on? How's it going? Oh gosh, guys, I'm <laughs> I'm taking a walk on the wild side right now. I really should be getting some other stuff done, but I promised and I'm here. Oh, did I make this a uh, subscriber only? Girl, let me handle some business, okay? Because we don't, girl, hold on a second. Y'all, wait, just in case. Anyone in the bushes, girl, we need you to know, girl, basic is not spoken here and trolls are not welcome. Don't play with me. Hold on a second. Mm. Girl, let's handle this riffraff. Let's handle this riffraff. Okay. Girl, I'm going to have to, let me, let me handle this. Let me handle this real quick. Because if someone was unsubscribed, uh. Let me, oh, let me do this. Let's do this. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, basic is not spoken here and trolls are not welcome. And I'm so sorry if you have not been subscribed to this channel for at least 12 hours. Boo boo, get your lunch, get your good, get your Pepsi um, or your boba tea and have a seat. Okay. Hey, Miss Pearl. Miss Pearl, if you if you were um not re not if you were not subscribed and, and you were having feeling away, um I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't care. Um, okay. It's Monday, guys, and um look foolishness and fuck shit on the YouTube streets. You know, that's just part of, that's just part of the, uh, of what's, what's, what's going on. So anyway, there is someone on the YouTubes who decided that they were going to use, uh, my thumbnail, <laughs> which I don't care. It's fair use girl. Go right on ahead. Um, but it's weird. It's weird to me because, you know, as someone who can do your own thumbnails, so I said, you know what, let me, because you know what, why not? Why not? I didn't, I didn't know. Um, but let's, let's do this. Cause guys, and I'm not, I, you know, maybe I do get tired. You know, people are like, oh, you know, I, whatever, whatever. But you know, Frank gets, tired. I get, I get tired of the bullshit. I do. I do. I get tired of the cap and I get tired of the bullshit. Hold on a second. Where is this damn thing at? Hold on. Girl. Oh, Jesus, it's the setups for me. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Girl. Hold on. Boop. Um, yeah, so look. Okay. I, I don't know what's going on over there, and I rightly don't care. It is what it is. Have fun with that. Um, your girl. Um, at the end of the day, someone decided that they're gonna do a whole entire dedicated video to your girl. Guys, this person, this channel right here, this person has a bestie, someone who they have a vested interest in, um, who has 502,000 subscribers. But for whatever reason, this person decides to take her lunchtime and do a whole entire video um, focusing on moi. Oh, okay. Okay, girl. Okay, have fun with that. Like, I don't care. Um, I don't. Um, but that's cool. So have fun with that. Um, this is what we're gonna do, though. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me let me find a good something good. 
because uh, there's not really much to see. There's like the girl. Um, we'll find some something good to land on. Um, playing this, but we're going to watch a video. Let's let's go with this. I just I want to replay something. Some of you may have not have ever even heard this, and that is okay. Um, and some of you have, but we're going to replay this because I think it's important and I think it's pertinent to what's going on right now. Um, let me just, let me set up the, uh, if, let's set up what's going on. This is good. This is better. Okay. So you guys remember this happened. Um, let's see. Let's just let's just jump right into it, and then I'll set the scene. It's a shame that you couldn't just do your content. I think I've told you like fifty million times, bitch. You worrying about the wrong thing on these YouTube streets, and you need to get back to your content and stop being shocked at why people are coming for you when you stay coming for other people. Mink. Yeah. So I know it's you, because there's nobody coming through here to porn bomb me. Yeah, um, I mean... You know. I don't have a problem having a conversation with you, Ming, but what I need for you to do is show your face. Fifi, I call myself, you know, just supporting you giving you some type of support. But clearly you are one, two, three slow. I never put that on you or, you know, said anything about it. But yes, you are slow. One, two, three slow. Okay. You're talking Make about writing D. a book. Show you your, can't write a book. You turn your stop. cam on. Okay, guys. So this was December 7th. And you guys take a trip back in memory lane. This was, this was um, a situation that happened. We're going to play about 30 minutes, but I, I want to, um, I think someone decided that they were going to put me on the lunch menu today and bitch, please. Okay. Like, let's just, let's, let's talk about this real quick. Uh, hold on. <laughs> And you so talk Mink about is, write a Mink book. is back to the book guys. Zolo. Uh -huh. Who does that? Who still has those? Nobody but you. Dude, like I'm a mother. I didn't, I wasn't responsible for nobody kids getting dots. I'm not responsible for Chanel speaking on your kids. If y'all spoke on Chanel kids and y'all got that beef, then that's y'all beef. Don't try to put me in a situation about somebody else who you already had beef with. And that goes for anybody that Chanel got a problem with. I met Chanel or came across Chanel, what, two weeks ago? How the hell am I? I that, that just not going to fly with me. Like, stop. Y'all always trying to um, make me responsible for what the whole world does. Like, no. But not can, I, can I hold you responsible for what you've done? Does my yeah. sister show up on my YouTube for channel? For sure. I could definitely, you could definitely hold me responsible for what I've done and what yeah, I'm doing. So um, this is when Mink came to my channel about, uh, so, Jen, so three months ago. And um, she came up on the panel because we were having a conversation about what had been happening with a couple of other people who are on these YouTube streets. I'm not even going to say content creator. Just some other some other folk on the YouTube streets um, that were trying to get me involved in some bullshit, and D basically had not only um, released some information about my sister. Like, okay, guys, I have a sister. Well, I don't even know if she's gonna say it or not, but I'm not even gonna say it again. I have three sisters, one of which um, someone decided to talk some stuff about, like to put some information out that I, is not commonly known that I don't even talk about. Um, so she allowed someone to dox my sister. She tried to dox me and my husband for a PPP loan. She tried to bring up some cold tea by some anonymous someone who's, who's got the vapors 
um and uh like to talk on my husband girl i don't just bs just the same bs that we hear over and over and over again with no receipts so she decides to call up on my panel one day and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because lo and behold this afternoon i see that someone is doing a whole entire live with my name and i'm like uh, okay okay girl okay have fun with that you know at the end of the day girl i do not care I don't care. Whatever you can say about me, I don't care. I don't. I don't and I don't. And I suspect that this is happening because obviously right now um, videos are flying around about Keisha. Me personally, if you can't stand people speaking on Keisha, why don't you find some other stuff to react to? Like if it bothers you that much, people speaking on Keisha, then you might not want to be Keisha's number one uh, defender or whatever it is that you do for her. At the end of the day, it doesn't seem like you can handle this because for whatever reason, it just bothers you too much. And, you know, I, I don't know, but I think it's really silly. So let's, let's, um, let's listen to this. You guys, please comment, make sure you like this. And um, I'm going to stop periodically. I mean, like my family is... So I'll my family doesn't show up on my YouTube channel, but you made yes. the decision to yeah, um, connect dots. Yeah, and so you heard her say, I looked at it. And that is so. against community guidelines. And I really could, I, I didn't, I didn't go run like contrary to you running my name and saying I called CP. Like, look, let me Listen, tell you something. Well, How I, I know this, wait, Mink, one second. Okay. How I know the CPS play is a play is because you know, I didn't call no fucking CPS. No, I don't. CPS, no, I don't if a CPS worker that. told Miss Keisha Anderson that someone called her, bitch, that's no. a whole entire fucking that's play. Not, I, to the I, I was, was I was play. not, girl, you think I was upset because Keisha didn't put up a Vlogmas video? Girl, look, how do you I, sound? Look, not, listen. How do you sound listen, saying that? Listen, just that like sounds stupid. We can, speak like adults, we can definitely speak like adults, but let's hold you accountable as well. Let's um, hold just ma'am. So this, so this is what she's saying. She's, oops, sorry guys. Girl, you know, I love to keep a fire in my, uh, in my office. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Um, so she's over here basically saying that I was mad with Keisha because Keisha didn't put up a vlog this video. See, the weird stuff is this woman will like just throw something out there that is absolutely stupid and then create some drama around it. I, I have no idea what's going on, but I promise you, I'm not a like my channel deals with a certain size YouTuber and she is not of the size nor the breadth or um, scope of channel that is even interesting to me. And I also don't react to reactors. I've said that a million times. So as far as that's concerned, I, I just, I don't make a practice of that. It's boring to me. So at the end of the day, but I do have to point out the lies. This is getting ridiculous. And um, like, I don't know if this is because maybe I got more views last week on my reactions than you did on your besties videos. I don't know, but I would suggest like moving around and trying to find something else to talk about because you can't win wordsmithing around me. You just can't. There's nothing that you can do to uh, try to spar with me on this freestyle internet. It's just not possible, boo-boo. It's just not, okay? Period. So I would suggest not even going there. I would leave me alone. Like, I would be, I would leave me alone, okay? <laughs> I would leave me alone. Ma'am, I asked you a question. I've never first. spoken on you. I've never, I've never spoke. You've you, never I, spoken you, on me. You never posted yeah. my picture on your community excuse wall me. and said, excuse now me. is my time. Excuse you me. You never did that. I allowed you to speak on me several times. I allowed you to call me out my name and, and try to uh, belittle me as a woman. And I never did that. She said that me calling her the help was me belittling her as a woman. Belittling someone as a woman is, is, is trying to knock them down a peg or two based on things that are intrinsic to women. Me calling you the help is not belittling you as a woman. Me calling you the help is me identifying something that appeared to be uh, employee driven, okay? 
So you didn't like that. And uh, we had a long conversation about that. You asked me to not call you that. And I, I obliged. I said, okay, I won't call you the help. Take down the pictures and like back up off of me. Okay. That's, that's what I said. But belittling you as a woman, I would suggest you and Keisha on this day that YouTube checks got this deposited, go ahead and invest in some thesauruses so you can understand how to use these vocabulary words you guys try to use. But belittling you as a woman, yet yeah, that's not calling you the help. Women are not only help. Men are help too. And calling someone the help is not belittling you as a woman. It doesn't get that deep because there are people who are the help. And um, they are very pride. Uh, they have a lot of pride and um, dignity in the work that they do. Okay. You just don't. I don't know why. It seems like you like it. That to you. How did I belittle oh, yes. you as a so, woman? Yes. So, yes. How did I belittle you as a woman? My name is Ming Ma B. You could call me D. You could call me whatever. Okay. But just Ming, because I, I speak for you, Ming, that does not mean I'm Ming, help. Relax, because, honey. No, relax, no, no, honey. No, no, no. Relax. No, no, no. My no, no, finger no, no. is not on the disconnect. You can you can come here and speak and take two breaths. It's okay. No, and I did. Like, and I did. let's, let's, and let's I did. tone it down just a little bit and have a conversation like women. I'm respectful to you. Keep that respectful with me. Well, I'm I'm also offering you some grace and some space to and take a breath you so you can actually have a conversation and, and not get yourself all amped up. But at oh, the end I'm of the day, up. if you I posted a picture of your mother or your sister, you wouldn't like that. But you a bitch is lot. not based. OK, well, my sister, my sister's an actress, everybody. I have a sister yeah. who's an actress. Well, Thank you, Ming. Thank you, Ming, for telling everybody. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Good. That's good. So let me just tell you this. Okay. Yeah. When thanks. I had, it had nothing to do. I don't know these people. <laughs> I don't know who Zolo is. This? I don't know who a crazy. Was. Like I said, for months, I never said anything to you. I never spoke your name. I was just like you said earlier. I was. So for whatever reason, I do have a sister who's an actress, guys. She's a working actress. And I don't, I'm not going to say, like, if people want to put it out, that's their business. Um, she's a working actress. She has nothing to do with my channel. Um, she has everything to do with me. She's, she's, uh, one of my besties. And at the end of the day, I love her. But, um, also the bottom line is this, it was not anyone's business to put that out. Like I don't go digging to people's family members and say, oh, so-and-so is a butcher and, uh, their mama is a candlestick maker and, um, her, her, um, someone else is a whole entire, uh, you know, free co. Okay. I don't, I don't, I stick with the uh, the main characters of what we're looking at on these YouTube videos. But for some reason, at a certain point, Mink decided back in December when I was not thinking about her because two numbskulls decided that they were going to put my name in their mouth. She decided to try to drop tea on me. And, you know, um, you're not going to find mug shots. You're not going to get the true confessions. You're not going to get anything other than a bitch is not phased. Okay. I was respectful to you in the comments and you still decided to go. Not only that, when you went on Zolo's platform, just like you did when I came in here and you had no idea. Hey, you, you stay, you stay on you. some fuck shit. I'm going yeah, to, if, if someone is someone who you. I'm cool with. When I'm going to tell you, yeah, no, I don't stay on fuck shit because I don't go from panel to panel to panel. I don't worry about what other people are saying about me. I stay over here at my channel and I mind my own business. When I go to other people's channels, I don't go and start mayhem and chaos. I'm not out here creating storylines. I'm not out here with some sort of hit list of people that I'm trying to get at. Yeah, that's that's not how I operate. Tell them you're getting ready to get into someone with some fuck shit. So yeah, as no, a friend, you, no. I will tell a friend that they're fucking with a fuck, a fuck chick. Okay. Well, so that's what no I do as a friend. I ain't never do no fuck shit with you. So, so uh, but I've seen you do fuck, fuck, fuck shit with other you. people. I don't need to, okay, I don't need well, to you do an investigation you, to find out if someone's on some fuck that. shit when they on as, fuck as, shit. As, like, as an adult, now, for as real. an adult, as an adult, you didn't have that experience with me, did you? No, uh, no, I reported on not channel. Listen, you had absolutely no experience like that with me. So as an adult, if well, you put that type of thing in people ears, I've yeah, I got a now. problem with that. I do have a problem with that. Now. So yeah, now you have. Now you okay. have, very, and, and rightfully so. Rightfully uh, so. According to you, to you, you came to me to you. plenty of times. Not really. You, not really, You did, you did. No. and I okay. ignored you. I okay. ignored you. Let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. And it, you know what I'm saying? I always left you alone. If I, I never speak on something that you've done, as it and pertains to Keisha, that's not coming for you. 
That's Listen, me talking about what the fuck happened. If I speak Look, hon, don't take it so personal. You shouldn't take it so personal. Then you shouldn't take it personal. I, I did take it personal. Did you see me running to go and file some reports yesterday? No. I ain't, I ain't filed uh, a report on you. Uh, well, you are doxing me. I don't think that you would. Miss, uh, okay. okay. When did I dox you? You doxed and you drew I don't line. even know your name, honestly. So how did I dox you? How did you? So look, okay. I'm I not going to talk about name. stuff I that I have not name. seen. All I did know you, is that you, you put out. My, you speaking on my PPP loans and all of that. Like, I feel like that's I did not. Loan. Look, look, you have a PPP loan, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's, and that's been the word on the street. That you you you. And I'm, I'm not speaking on your. Girl, I don't know real. anything about you your PPP you, loan. You probably got you more involved in this than you probably even wanted to be. Let's just be real. I ain't even. Okay. So, so what I'm going to say is, I will say, I will admit that. Okay, so for those of you who are lost, look at the screen. It's December 7th. Um, if you can see that, I know the screen is small. Let me make it bigger. Um, so D came came for me um, on December 7th. And, um, you know, we kind of had a little bit of a ceasefire. And what happened was, and this is what I can tell you. So this was, this was a five-hour live. I referenced this yesterday. Guys, go ahead and hit the like button, okay? Um, I referenced this yesterday. So we had a little bit of a ceasefire back in December. D, uh, true to form, comes for anybody who reacts on Keisha, period, period. If you react on Keisha, she's coming. She, she gets a hard on for anybody who reacts on this woman. Guys, we got 280. It's lunch break. We have 71 likes. I don't believe for one minute that 210 of you are in the bushes on some fuckery. Go ahead, hit that like button. Maybe some of you are not happy because I iced out at 12 hours, but at the end of the day, y'all should have been subscribed over here anyway. And just also know you probably weren't going to come to the chat. Like, that's okay. Like, if you can't get in the chat, understand you probably weren't going to anyway. So it's okay. I think you can still read it. So let's go ahead, get these likes up and let's get this party started so I can explain what's going on here. So D was basically coming for me. She had doxxed me. She doxxed my husband. She doxxed my sister. She doxxed a bunch of people. She doxxed me and my husband for having a PPP loan, which I didn't know PPP loans were illegal. PPP loans are only illegal for people who take out illegal PPP loans. Number one, we didn't take out a PPP loan. And number two, um, if I had, that would be my business. Like at the end of the day, the fact that she's got a PPP loan, I don't care. I do not care. And I mean that. I don't care at all. Like, have a PPP loan if you want to. Like, nobody cares about that. And I mean, nobody. Anybody who cares about her having a PPP loan, um, I don't know them. I don't know them. And if they do, that's their business. Oops. Okay. That's their business. I do not care. Okay? I'm going to leave it like this. Um, so, she she doxed me on several different things and she started making disparaging videos about me because I was speaking on Keisha. So fast forward, basically this day happened. And when this day happened, we kind of squashed like, OK, you go in your corner, I go in my corner and that's it and left it alone. Now, a lot of people felt like, oh, they're being friendly. There was some there's a, a, a someone who's on some fuck shit who's on this panel and you'll see the icon. I guess my head's covering their icon at this moment and this person has been trying to put out that me and mink were you know friendly and at the end of the day what i can tell you is this and this is the truth um after we had this little ceasefire um mink came to my chat one day and i told her like yeah you can't you can't be up in here doing that and she got blocked and she is not unblocked and at the end of the day what i also said was yeah we're not friends like at the end of the day you're in your corner i'm in my corner but that doesn't mean that we're friends so at the end of the day um that's it and that's all like that's it we're not friends and that's where it stayed up until i guess now that keisha's back trying to get her numbers up or whatever it is that she's trying to do out here on youtube and because I react on her channel, I guess she thinks that she's going to make some coin off me or she's going to use me as content. Girl, go right on ahead. But like I said, at the end of the day, you better check your facts, honey, because you might be dealing with a whole bunch of broke people that don't have the means or capacity.
to be able to meet you in a courtroom, but bitch, I do. So if you're going to speak on my name, you better make sure you use allegedly and you better get some motherfucking facts up in here. Because I tell you what, don't spread any more lies on me. Okay, let's be clear. So you better speak on a damn video or you better speak what you know, because at the end of the day, you putting out stupid fuck shit that people drop in your inbox about um, random ass shit that you do which is take out fucking PPP loans. I haven't even taken out a PPP loan, but if I did, that would be my motherfucking business. I live in North Carolina and you're dropping tea about California. And it's so funny how you decided to cover up California because you were trying to just put any shit out you could find on me. I haven't done the walk of shame. I've never been to jail. I've never been arrested. You don't have nothing on me. All you have is some alleged bitch out in the bushes who got the vapors from my husband. If you want to diminish my relationship, go on ahead. I do not care. We will be laughing about it over lunch tomorrow while we're celebrating our eighth wedding anniversary over a couple glasses of very nice cold champagne and Prosecco. Okay, bitch, get your weight up. Okay, take me off your schedule because, yeah, I'm not the one you want to spar with. When I did, I, I did, I, I, when I posted my community post, I deleted it. Like, no, I ain't going, I ain't even going to do that. I was about to go on, go into my December and not even worry about it. But however, you did lie. You did get on your platform and insinuate that girl had an STD. And I feel like, and as an adult, that was fucked I up. didn't say she what had an, I didn't insinuate Keisha had an STD. Keisha had some damn esterous cream and some antibiotic. Keisha says that the antibiotic was for after her surgery and the esterous cream when I looked it up at the reasons why people would use esterous cream, it was for dry putty cat. OK, now I had someone who was on my panel who inferred something else. I'm not responsible for what another bitch says. This is a free speech platform and she could say what she wanted. At the end of the day, she was doing a reaction based on the evidence that was put in front of her. But at the end of the day, yeah, I never said the bitch had fucking STD. I said that esterous was used for dry putty cat. Okay. And what I said about the prescription, since you want to bring it up is that Keisha, you might want to hide your prescriptions because you got your whole public prescription with your government and your doctor's name on it. And you might want to keep a little bit more of your privacy. I said, anybody running bones back, that was a whole nother person that inferred that. So the bitch was, compl she was mad at me for what someone else said. So I have to be responsible like I'm someone's mother because someone said something she didn't like on my platform. And I get that. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of people up on my panel because I can't control other people's mouth. People can give their opinion. Oh, yeah. STD. I and did you know, not say that. You just insinuate that she had STD. Let's be real, Frank. No, you I did not insinuate. If up. I Look, you I mean. said I'm not a doctor. Look, an antibiotic yeah, is not, doing. look, if you she's got, she's look, so anyway, look, I'm going to say that as far as the TP situation, she did keep saying, like, she was making, she, me, she did come look, out. Please like, not on your own me. understanding. I never said the girl had an STD. Okay. Cool. Other people right, cool. in the comments were saying that it can right. also be used for that matter. But at the end of okay. the day, I, I wasn't calling her out for having an okay. STD. I was saying All you right. had your dry cooch cream. I said okay, dry cool. cooch cream. And All you right. have a very strong <laughs> okay. antibiotic. Okay. And you need to blur it out. That's what I said. Blur it out. That's what I said. A breath of, from a, a medication she got from her Okay, then that's her business. I don't. You I, you're talking, talking about it now. You're, you're, talking, about it. you're talking about it. You're further. You're further talking about it. I'm not talking about it. I wasn't talking cool. about it cool. beyond when it was talked about. This Listen, is what this woman decided to put in her vlog. That's on you, girl. That's your your dry cooch cream and your antibiotics should not be part of a Christmas video. But if that's Girl, it was Cloutmas. Do we remember Cloutmas, guys? Cloutmas was so much fun, guys. Shall we? Guys, don't be mad at me. Um, guys, it was Cloutmas. Do you remember? Wrong intro. Wrong intro. Hold on. Get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. There's 365 of you. It's lunchtime. Can we get up to 50%, please? If you're here, you have not hit the like button yet. 
let's have some fun. January St. James, baby, this is live, okay? Yes, we are all the way live, but we are listening to some fuck shit and foolishness of days gone by, back when Cloutmas was a thing, which I think Cloutmas is back, guys. I think it's the Trash My Life series, and um, if a bitch wants to trash her life, girl, I'm going to sit here and talk about it, okay? Girl, we're going to talk about it, because Cloutmas is real. And um, someone's out on uh, on some capping, uh, and and it is what it is. I don't know if we got a new member. I wasn't looking at the chat, but thank you. And we are going to, we will celebrate it. I promise. We're going to celebrate all the new members, um, anyone who's come through in the past couple of days. So thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And January, yes, we are all the way live. Boo boo. She rolls. That's how she rolls. Okay, I don't cool. give a fuck. Okay, cool. I'm sure you say, okay, cool. If that's what you, cool. cool, cool that's cool. it. Um, that's it and that's all. But anyway, like I said, as far as, talk about what you, whatever you want to talk about. You saw what the medication was for. You never corrected yourself, but that's what you I did. said so, it was used cool. for skin disorders. It's used for leprosy. Yeah, I read right, right off of WebMD. Damn coochie cream. We all women on here. I ain't about to do all of that, friend. I'm a grown ass. Uh, that's her business. Anyway, yeah. I'm not talking anyway. about it. You brought it up. Yeah, because you said you because that I felt like that was fucked up. So I said what I said. Okay, it was so fucked anyway. up. Am I? Do I yeah, have wings yeah. out here? So anyway, that's what you do. You will am I, with a lie and You know that. You. Will I'm not with rolling with a lie. You will. You will go with a lie, but it's cool. That's tell, how y'all tell roll. me That's of a lie doing. that I rolled it with. Cool. Can you tell me? Look, can listen, you tell me when I was rolling on the YouTube streets with a lie? Listen, I go back and what what lie, Ming? 
Bye -bye. I go back to talk about that another time. But what I'm trying to say she is, said she was going to get back to me another coming, time. Um, Guys, it's heart been was three. Because... Girl, she said she was going to get back to me another time with a lie that I rolled with. Okay, girl. 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 <laughs> she said I'll get back to you another time. <laughs> Girl, that is, someone told me a story once about their sister who was having, they were actually in a fight and some girls were whooping her ass and she said, time out. How do you get a time out? Like, it's not a boxing match. It is a bunch of girls whooping on your ass and homegirl said, can I get a time out? For, for me, I don't know what the fuck you and Fifi or Zolo or whatever had. Yeah, going well, on. that's why like, that's that was look. that's on you for associating yourself with them because they did. Okay, so they, my, my bad, bad sis. This is what they said. My bad sis. That's what they said. The okay, my bad said sis. Was, the, hey, that's on you. So okay, if well, like I said, I I know. I'm look, is, I'm a grown up, and I know when to say my bad sis. Um, yeah. that was my mistake. Okay, and, cool. you know, and people told me not to fuck with them. But at the end of the day, I was trying to give some people the benefit of the doubt because this is on some YouTube streets. Ain't nobody coming for Thanksgiving. So I thought we were cool. But clearly that was not the case. And my I'm, bad, sis. Yeah, well, I'm just going to tell you that. Okay. That the reason why you got came for a bit hard was probably because of Fifi. Okay, and I get it. And you know what? I'm a big girl, D. And at the end of the day. I get it, and that's why I didn't even really wasn't even going to really talk about it because I I know what you do on the YouTube streets, and I get it, and you know what I do on the YouTube streets, and you get it. But at the end of the day, yeah, I never sent no one for you. I don't have a problem speaking yeah, on I you. I don't need nobody to come for you. If I want to reach out and talk to you, I know how to hit the button on Instagram. If you pick up, you pick up. If you don't pick up, I can talk to you like I'm talking to you right now. Well, what I'm telling you is when Fifi came on there and said, oh, you can't. Well, Fifi. Fifi's not authorized <laughs> to speak for me. You can, well, she did. So I'm just telling well, you that's where it came from. Okay, and she did. And so what? So, it's the I, same I, thing if Fifi ran to the store yeah. with my credit card. A big, still, well, I'm, just letting you know, I'm just letting you know that you said okay, it was your well, she did. Your she did and she did. I'm telling well, you she was not authorized. Yeah. She was I, not I, authorized. Y'all, if someone takes your credit card, Okay, i.e. someone steals your clout and they use your name and you call American Express or Visa and say some bitch ran to fucking Belk and Neiman Marcus with my credit card and charged up a bunch of shit. You know what's going to happen? Because I got credit, because I've got credibility. Um, guess what? The charges get reversed. Okay, so at the end of the day, it is what it is. I, I don't care. I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like someone could say what they want. And think you want to say that they're speaking on my behalf because for whatever reason. But at the end of the day, yeah, girl, ain't nobody authorized to speak for me but me, period. And if you want to sit around and try to interpret what I say, not what I said, what I said, what I said, um, then that's your that's just all your problem. Like, I don't care as to speak yeah, that's cool. for me. Nobody well, speaks for, I don't have like, a spokesperson. Okay, but just look at it like, just like how you want to associate everything I say with Keisha, I, it's, you can't no, blame me. I don't associate. associate yes, you do. I don't, so I don't, you can't, you can't me, say, me. you got to be real and say you definitely associated yourself with them in a, I, in a very outwardly way. So when so I came. What? That's my business. Know, I'm grown. You know, that's going to bring her subscribers you or whatever. But I go to the source and that's who I felt like the source was. Okay. I felt like and I appreciate me. you coming to the source and I let you yeah. on my panel. Like I don't have. Look, D, at the end of the day, I speak on my content. Now, if situations have come up where you've been involved and I mention you because I'm talking about a situation that happened, you should not feel that I am coming for you. I'm speaking on a situation. But Listen, you can take I've it however it. you want it. I've but been, if I've you have a problem it. with me, you come and speak to me like a woman. If well, I got a problem with you, I will speak to you. That's Listen, why you're on the panel that, right that, now. When this email Fifi or whatever, and Zolo started speaking on well, my child being molested and shit like that. I didn't I, give a fuck. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. None of that. I, I didn't don't give know a fuck anything about, about that. Well, yeah, well, I don't, I, I don't well, know anything about that. Well, I'm telling you now. That's why. Well, uh, I hear what you're saying, and I have no, and and just so Zolo and Fifi know. Yeah, I don't have any association with them because a whole man who's going to speak on me that I have been nothing but kind to and offered you an opportunity basically to help you with your channel and things like that and and he paid for it as a coach okay because i do have a receipt 
he paid for that. So when I helped him with his merch and get his website set up and helped him with a couple of thumbnails, yeah, but as far as me sending him for you, boo-boo, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, I don't need that. I don't need people running my channel. Nobody runs my channel but me. Well, nobody period. runs my channel but me either, so you can respect that okay. as well, right? I, I oh, never okay. said Keisha was running your channel. You did. You did. I said Keisha was, I said you are uh, working for her. I, that doesn't mean she runs her? your channel. I'm sure you do what you want to do. On I, your how am I working for Keisha? How are you giving because, your opinion? I'm not giving well, my own Okay, so my That's opinion <laughs> is, is, so whether you're working, whether you're getting a check or not getting a check, at the end of the day, you are here because, well, you're on the YouTube streets because, because you are defending be. Keisha. Well, because, because you've to. said that. You've said because that you, you that nobody was out here defending her, and that's what you wanted to do, right? And that's what you've said. Hold up. No, I came to the internet in, in the beginning just because there was a lot of lies being told, and I right. corrected the lies. Defend so your friend. Is that I not came, correct? Just because I build a platform does not mean, so just when just you like, were on the your thing, channel, hold on and now, you said you like, were coming out to like help defend Keisha. New Jacka, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Hello, everybody. Hello. Let's get these likes up. There's 422. It's lunchtime. Uh, take a bite of your sandwich and hit the like button, okay? Yeah, because no one was out here helping defend her. That's what you did. That's what you That's said. Still, but this is still my channel. If I want to build a okay, channel, so I want to have a channel. If I want to have a channel, when, when channel. I go to Google Ads, they don't I'm, find it. They find the video. You. I've never said that you were running that Keisha was running your channel. I never okay, said well, that. That's not, clear that. That's not me. That's not me. Well, well, let's just make it very clear that just like you have your opinion and I, I have my own opinion, that's what it is. It's not bullying. Yeah, that's not it's me. Not harassing. It's not none of that. So yeah. if well, you if okay. you want to have your own channel and you I can have my own channel and you can't run and nobody else can run what what I say on my channel. Just like Keisha had no idea that you were making the videos that you were making on her. What until you told her what you ran you ran to your mama and told her like okay so keisha had no idea you were making the videos so like i said back in december guys d has a list she brings forward names to keisha and yeah i'm not going to be on your chopping block boo boo i'm reacting to martin's videos and see you guys opened up a can of worms because y'all can't stand the heat y'all put fuck shit out uh, Keisha puts out her struggle life, her struggle love, her struggle everything, and she don't want nobody talking about it. And at the end of the day, this is a free speech platform, and I can say what the fuck I want to say. I'm not at signing her. I'm not inviting her. I'm not coincing her, co con trying to convince her. I'm not coercing her. See, I don't get on YouTube and at sign people like you do. I don't need to like at sign people to get people to come watch my videos. I'm not coming to watch your video. I actually went to your site today to go get a piece of your artwork to use on my thumbnail. And this is what I saw to my dismay. I was like, oh, okay, girl. See, I wasn't even going to use your real life picture. Oh, I don't even have it in front of me. I showed it earlier. Girl, it's not relevant. Um, girl, it's this. You better fucking be, you, you speak on me. You better have that allegedly all up in your fucking mouth. Defame and discredit me if you want to. Um, yeah, there'll be some repercussions on that. So you better make sure that what you got is facts. And I mean it. Don't, don't come up here. I gave you a whole entire pass about three months ago for saying a whole bunch of shit about me that wasn't even true and doxing my sister. I asked you to take the shit down. I don't know if you took it down or not. And I don't even really care enough. At the end of the day, you're not going to serve me up for lunch, boo-boo. You're not. It's not possible. Because uh, this is this is first and last, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. I said what I said based off of how I felt about the video, or okay. I said what I had to say, my own opinion. Just like you're a grown woman and can give your own opinion, that whole narrative that I'm working for Keisha, getting paid by Keisha, absolutely not. I can make okay. my own so video I, about what I so make let's my do this. About. Um, look, at the end of the day, the bottom line is, is you present yourself a certain type of way. And, and when you you're running with a narrative, if Keisha told you that I'm the person that called CPS on you, what I'm telling that. you right now is she that your friend is lying. That. She did not tell me that. 
She did not tell me that. I did not say Keisha well, said you was a okay. person. And well, then I'm not going to I'm not going to give it any more yet. life because at the end of the day, I didn't call on Keisha. Like I have well, such better things saying. to do. I didn't and I don't say, mess with listen, people's I don't know who called CPS on Keisha. But what I do know is that I did hear clips about you saying that you were that you were vindictive. And that's what you do call CPS and make false. And I'm CPS vindictive. Claims. Yes, you did. Look, what, when I said, let me tell you something. There's some bitch out here with the vapors um, and it might be damn storm. I have no fucking idea. Some people are running a narrative that my my husband has a baby out here somewhere, okay? And I said, let the bitch come on because I will be a spiteful ass wife and you will be coming to visit your baby at my house. Yes, that is what I said. Because, yes, yeah, because if that was asking, the truth, I would do that, right? okay? Okay, well, Boom. If, if, you, Boom. if you are associating everything Boom. I say and you're upset yeah, me, at, at the end of the day, I don't have a problem hey, with I that. I don't know what you would CPS. I would never say that out of my mouth, so I don't know. Well, that's, okay, that's I didn't, let, the, let the record show, no, Keisha, good morning. Uh, maybe she's, she's watching. watching. She doesn't know okay. who you are. Uh, okay, yeah. Good, good. So I, what I'm trying to say is, I had videos are not for her. They're not for her. What she needs to know is, I'm not the one, boo boo. I did not okay, call CPS. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. If you didn't call CPS, you said you didn't call CPS. But what and I'm just, trying to tell you is, mean, at the say, end of the day, I'm reacting yep. to the video. I'm not Me reacting too. to you. I'm not Me reacting too. to you. I don't have Me no too. problems personally with you. I have spent zero time. Now, you can talk to Fifi about running your background check around the internet because that's who sent it to me yesterday. And she sent me the pictures of you in your Adidas tracksuit. She sent, like, look, if you want to talk to someone about running receipts and running <laughs> and running game, this is the dumbest stuff. Um, so when I mentioned D in the Adidas tracksuit, D actually was trying to parody me. And D actually identified my swag. She realized that your girl um, is uh, has a full wardrobe of Adidas tracksuits and homegirl decided to get out whatever she has in her closet and try to parody me. I wouldn't even begin to know what this girl's swag is. Typically, she is veiled by an avatar. See, a bitch got style. I have a whole personal aesthetic. And see, that's why when people want to try to make a mockery of me, they know exactly where to go to. They go to some designer bags, some track suits, some good jewelry, and like a cute little ponytail or some some Ava DuVernay uh, lemonade braids. Okay, because I have a whole personal style aesthetic. So when people see it, like when Strong Mommy Chrissy decided to wear big thick frame glasses people in her chat were like oh you're giving fran vibes see at the end of the day see i make impressions on people that are positive a bitch wants to try to make fun of me but yeah you're just telling on yourself how much the vapors you got because you know exactly what the fuck i wear i can't even begin to know what your style aesthetic is and don't care okay i'm sure y'all don't know Fifi i don't on care. that you can take that up with miss all about fifi but in yeah. terms of me Hun, you're not my content, and I mean that with all due respect. I react well, on you, Keisha, you are, if and if you're part of the story, you're then you're part of the story. But well, at the yeah, end of the day, I'm not story, running you're your name. Story. If you're okay. part of my story, then you're part of my story. You have to respect that as well. Because okay, I have, well, my I sister definitely... is not part of my channel, and I well, don't speak on my sister. Right. So my sister is not part of the story. My husband is not part of the story. See, she takes an inch and goes a yard. And then she wants to get up here the last couple of weeks talking about, well, um, it's a, like, oh, strong mommy Chrissy, someone doxed her, da, 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 da. Girl, you were sitting up here doxing me. You want to talk about people bullying Keisha? Keisha's trying to call someone out for being transgender. That's not Keisha's place. Deal with the facts. If you got a problem with someone bullying you, you trying to support someone bullying you on the fact that they're transgender is irrelevant. It's not relevant. And if you were a real friend or a real advisor, you would tell her that. But because you're with the fuck shit and the fugazi, you are going to encourage your friend to take a yard when really, if, if she already felt like she was being bullied, just go with that. But at the end of the day, trying to misgender people, trying to spread homophobic agenda yeah that's not cool 
If you thought I was on some fuck shit, you talking about my family doesn't help it. What the fuck? My sister's an actress, so fucking what? What does that have to do with me and my channel other than somebody is fanning over me? Like, what the fuck? Who cares? I'm a whole grown woman. How my sister earns coin is none of anyone's business. Whether I've got a PPP loan, which I don't, is none of my business. Just because you have a P Like, if you're ashamed because you got a PPP loan, if Keisha's ashamed because you got a PPP loan, it, that's your business. That's something you got to deal with. I'm not ashamed to have a PPP loan because I have one. But you took a damn fake ass receipt, blocked out California because you've applied for a PPP loan before. And you know I live in North Carolina, but that PPP loan was out of California. And you knew it was a fake receipt and you posted the shit anyway. 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 Stop trying to find shit on me. If you don't like me, just don't like me. But at the end of the day, stop trying to make shit up about me. Stop, stop lying. Stop capping. Just be a grown up. So well, you are violating my privacy by doxing someone either, who's not do. even on this I don't speak channel. on probation officers, but you do. I like I didn't I didn't do none of that to you. But so once she's you she's referring to somebody else. And let me tell you something. I had a whole person on this YouTube who was borderline stalking me. And if I felt like calling their probation officer, which was my right, I could do that. And if a bitch wasn't on fucking probation, then I wouldn't have been able to. If you were already not not a law-abiding citizen, I wouldn't have had a probation officer to reach out to. So what I'm doing with someone else is not your business, ma'am, Miss Ma'am. So it, it seems like she's grasping, she's reaching, she's doxing, she's bullying, she's strong-arming, she is uh, capping, okay? But y'all can't, y'all can't, like, uh, I'm reacting to the video. If someone's out here has a video talking about that you are on probation, but I'm and not on you are coming from my throat. No. Well, I mean, well, okay, if you, video that if you, you want to ask me not to speak name. on your probation, I don't have a problem with I don't that. Have I didn't probation. speak on you at Zoom court probation. the other day. I, I don't didn't speak on you probation. being at Zoom court. I don't give a fuck about me being at Zoom court for fucking traffic. Y'all really crazy about that shit. Y'all really crazy about that shit. So I don't give a fuck. I didn't either. That's why okay. I didn't mention it. Girl, okay. This is, well, this is on some. D came to my panel like she was news. Okay. D came to my panel like she was news. D came to my panel like I was actually reporting on her. And D came to my panel like it was actually important. At the end of the day, nobody gave a shit, really. Um, and then the next uh, three and a half hours were spent her defending herself to other people. Um, I'm going to drop the link. This video does live in my member archive and um, I might put it back out like on the late night. I might let this replay like at midnight tonight and put it back out. But the original, the original five hour chat, um, that's going to live in members. And I'm probably going to replay this on the late night, uh, maybe tonight. So um, if I were you, I would get subscribed because at the end of the day, it'll probably be another 12 hour lockout. And you must be a subscriber um, to be in the chat. So if you want to be in that, you're more than welcome to. But girl, it's it's a long ass video and and it is what it is. So if you want to hear this in its entirety, it'll be back up, maybe posted tonight or tomorrow night. I'm not really sure, um, but it will it will at some point. OK, so just be tuned in for that and make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want to hear this. The original is in level two members if you're interested, okay? Silly shit. Do you not oh, get that? Well, all right. Like, well, it's silly shit. If you sat student. down and thought about this for a minute, this is on some silly shit. Well, yeah. Well, it's real silly until people speaking on my child being molested. Well, no, it honey, ain't silly I've never, well. if you stop saying it, like, first of all, you're talking to a whole bunch of people that didn't know that. And when you keep repeating it, you're further victimizing the victim. So how about not speak My child ain't no damn victim or no damn molestation. Well, no. I'm talking I'm in general hurt. at the end. And see, when I'm saying that too, it's it's making someone into a victim by spreading lies on them, okay? So at the end of the day, yeah, I had no part in speaking on that topic because, you know, I don't speak on the kids. 
Um, if it's nothing positive, that Boo Boo Bebe is cute. I like their outfit. Oh, they go to school. They do this. They do that. That's it. And that's all. I don't I don't care about speaking on people's kids. I got my own. And at the end of the day, um, you know, it's just I, I think it's just a character flaw of people who pick on people who are defenseless. So that's that's not I don't I don't I don't. OK, so that's just that's this that's this platform. And at the end of the day, I'm not even going to go in deep on that. But she was trying to bring me into something that these people were talking about. And I don't care that I was associated with some people. At the end of the day, I said it plain. I said it clear. I wasn't associated with them. I'm not associated with them. They were not in a position to speak for me. And when I found out that these people were speaking, using my name as clout, I cut it off. I put a I put a stop to it immediately. Okay. Yeah. End of the day, I don't know what happened, Tell and I'm up. not I'm asking you. you to keep saying that. Okay. Yeah, no, but I'm, but I don't I'm know what know. happened or didn't happen. I'm not associated with but that. Just like, but what I'm saying is, if you verbally associating yourself with those people, and then I'm not, not associated well, with Keisha. those people. Okay, we're cool. speaking about now. now. You saying that now, but what I'm trying to say is, well, if you can associate Keisha with everything I say out of my mouth, don't be upset. Do you see the, uh, you know, do you see the one track focus is to always bring it on home and bring it on home is to clear Keisha, clear Keisha at all costs, clear Keisha, clear Keisha that, you know, that's probably what I need to call this clear Keisha. It's the clear Keisha's name agenda while Keisha keeps continually throwing her name in the trash. Keisha didn't even have to have her name being brought up on a Monday, but you know what? Girl, yes, yeah, she can't not be the topic of conversation, even when the topic is trash. Okay, upset when you're associated with people that you publicly align yourself with. Don't don't be mad. Well, I you didn't can't know be that mad. You do it to other people, so when it's done okay. to you, you can't be upset. Okay, my bad, upset. sis. My bad, yeah, sis. Well. Okay, my bad, sis. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not associated with them anymore. Mad. Okay, well, good. good. You okay. should be. So now you I'm calling be. you, sis. Does that mean that we're aligned? Okay. No. Like, can no. we can we clear this air? It's like, like you yeah, want the air cleared, or you just and you, or you just want to keep it going. Like oh, at the no, end of the day, going, the bottom line is, is I that I, I report to people who want to hear about Keisha's channel. They either watch her channel, they don't watch her channel, that's or they want to have a conversation about that's what happened. You. And that's, that's it. You. And let me make that very clear because you have also said that I publicly attack people that speak on Keisha. I don't care if you speak on Keisha. That's not my. I don't care. So you cannot keep on saying that. Oh, she attacks like my. Oh, so she doesn't publicly attack publicly attack people who speak on Keisha, but she's uh she's doing a whole video on me as we speak. <laughs> okay. I'll sell whoever talks about Keisha. No, they did something to me. They well, did me, something. So if I, if I react to what they did, then that's on them. But I don't care who. Let let me publicly say that I don't care who is talking about Keisha. I don't care who. But when you put me in it, I have a problem. I ha I can have my own opinion about what I want to have an opinion with about. Just like okay. y'all have the public opinion about what y'all have an opinion about. So if okay. I have an opinion about something somebody said, does that that's not, does not mean I'm attacking them. It doesn't mean I'm doing all of that. But when y'all come back and attack me and I re react back, well, when you me, come uh, and bring up people who are not part of the situation, I don't care. my son ain't had nothing to do with your shit either. Look, so but D, let me tell you, you, like you, D, said, you D, D, listen, can I just let me just say this? I never mentioned your son. I you never. Now, just yes, because yes. those two people did, I don't have anything to do with them. You saying that as, now, as of this moment? Well, I'm saying yes. that now, and I said that okay. five minutes ago, and I'm gonna say it in five minutes in the future. What I'm yes. telling you is, I never spoke on your son. Yeah. Okay. okay. I yeah. never spoke on your son. So what I'm asking you to do is to let that go. Yeah. I. I never I spoke no on your son and no won't problem. speak on your I son. No I won't I speak no on your son. I won't I speak no on your son. I won't speak on your son. Okay. I don't have no problem letting that okay. go. But what I'm trying okay. to tell you is that if you disrespect me and I disrespect you back, that's on you. But what okay. I'm trying to say no. is that's street but, code. But, but, Absolutely. Well, okay. Absolutely. Then. So as long as you understand, don't be playing victim. Like I Girl, like I'm not stupid out here. I think you know that. All right. All right. I, I well, think I think you came up here because you know that you can you can get your piece out, say what you got to say, and it's on some grown woman. At the end of the day, I didn't speak on your son, won't speak on your son, okay? I mean, I don't, I don't go for kids. Kids didn't sign up to be on here. I would never. I don't do that. And as far as Fifi and Zolo speaking on your kid, that's on them.
that's on them and that's on some shady shit because I'm sure Zolo would feel a way and Fifi definitely feels a way about her child being spoken on. Period. I don't speak on her kid. I don't know about her kid. Well, she I'm not saying that you child. did, but she's got feelings about other situations that clearly she has created. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. She's going to have to deal with her own shit on her own. Well, I'm just letting y'all know whoever, y'all got a pain on Keisha, that's on y'all. That's on y'all, but ain't nobody threatening to kill me, all that other weird shit. Ain't nobody trying to kill you, girl. I didn't say you. I'm on some about, YouTube, I did, I they gotta be you. silly. I didn't say you, uh, okay. but all of, them, all of them threats and all that, I don't make those threats to y'all, so y'all got a problem? Hey, once you start doing that, then I do have a Look, problem. at the end of the day, oh. keep it 100, and that's it. At the end of the day, I keep it on the video, and that's for real. That's all. I keep it on the videos. I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass. Yeah, okay. Well, all I'm saying is, if you got a problem with Keisha or whatever, not even a problem, if you react on the video, that's on you. That's 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 on you. That's on you. I don't, yeah, I, I don't like all this narrative like, oh, she bullying small content creators. Absolutely not. Ain't nobody doing that. If I say something, I say something. But I don't. Have a well, D, if you got a oh, problem with me, you know how to reach me. Look, at the end of the day, I, I don't understand why. Well, you know, I know people hate this expression, a hit dog will holler. But at the end of the day, it really does. It seems to be one of the talking points that they seem to dislike the most is the hit dog will holler reference. Because when you bring that up, my God, it's a problem. So let me set the scene for you at this moment. If you can see down on the lower left-hand corner, you see Toya enters the chat. And it goes on for about an hour. Guys, if you want to see this um, in its entirety now, it's in level two members. But um, I will replay this maybe tonight. Um, I'll replay it. Um, and um, just make sure that you're subscribed so you can enter the chat if you are, um, if you can. So that's it. Um, if it's not members and mods, I just, I, I probably would do it before I go to sleep. So, um, and just let it play, um, you know, maybe from 11 to, or midnight to however long it takes. Cause it's a freaking five hour live guys. Like it's absolutely redonkulous, but look, um, I know a lot of you have not seen it. I mean, it got over 12,000 views, but I don't know. I, I think a lot of people still haven't seen it. And I'm sure a lot of people have not even heard or watched it since this first happened back in December. But if you want to hear um, D speak with Toya, um, gosh, Life of Nia, the YouTube streets, a lot of you called in. It was, it was a lot. And um, so I will replay it. Just make sure that you are subscribed. There's 494 of you at this moment. Go ahead, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. So when it drops, um, you can participate in the chat. Otherwise, um, you can just sit back and listen to it. Other And, and that's pretty much that's it. And that's all, guys. I got to get back to um, the real business that pays me and um, get back to work. This was so much fun. Okay, guys, um, if you see any numbskulls out here running my name up and down the YouTube streets, uh, just tell them I said, fuck you. Okay. Welcome back to Love, Lies, and Lace Friends, where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary on the YouTube channels you love to watch. Guys, are you subscribed to this channel? If you're not, you need to be. Hit your notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video, when I go live, and drop another video for you. Also, follow me on Instagram. That way you can keep up with what I'm doing, okay? If you enjoy channels like this and commentary, consider becoming a member. Otherwise, guys, bougie gang gang, it's an open thing. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you can participate in the chats. And I will see you next time I hit that live button. Okay, take care. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? You could be doing a post of
being on my page, bitch, because I ain't got nothing for you nothing ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs>